Hey guys, Angus here. Got another airsoft video for you guys today. Now today I'm going to be starting a new series. Hopefully you guys like the videos and I'll start posting them weekly. One of the biggest questions and requests I get is can I, you know, share some of my airsoft experience with you guys? People often ask me, they say, hey, I see you're a good airsofter. Do you have any tips for me so I can improve my airsoft game? So I figured I'd go ahead, give into the request, and start doing some videos sharing the different tactics and skills that have helped me out um, become the airsofter that I am over the past couple years. First thing I'd like to say is that tactics are a very controversial topic. People will always tell you there's a better tactic than the one you're using. If you think your tactic is better or your skill is better, that's great. These tactics work for me, and if they work for you, just go ahead and use them. Typically, they make you a better player. Don't conform to what everyone else wants you to do just because it's the norm. Today's tactic I'm going to be sharing with you guys, not really a tactic, more so a skill, is snap shooting. You guys have probably seen me do it in several videos of people filming me or even some head cam videos of myself. Now, as I stated earlier, to some of you that may look familiar, you've probably seen me do that sort of motion in past videos uh, of me in games. Now, what it basically is, snap shooting, is basically sporadic shooting at an identified target downrange. It's not necessarily taking aim carefully, making sure that one shot will hit the guy, and then pulling back in. What this is more so used for is, say, I'm in this position. There's a guy down range, he's got his head up, his gun out, and he's locked in on, the, on this position. He knows I'm here, and he knows when I pull out, he's going to pull his trigger and hope he hits me. So in that case, I can't generally stick my whole body out for more than a second here, otherwise I'm most certainly going to be a goner and get hit. So in return of taking that position, taking out here shooting and hoping to hit him, I'd actually take on a position of sporadic shooting, aka snap shooting. When I pull out quickly, pull the trigger, and pull back in, I don't give him a target long enough for him to send his BB and hit me. He can pull the trigger, but chances are, by the time it gets to me, I'll be ducked back in cover. Overall, what I'm basically doing here is trying to get him to pull back in his cover so that I can take over his position of being the one with the drop on the player behind the barricade. At that point, I can assume the actual portion of actually aiming and hoping to take him out. But during the position of snap shooting, what I'm basically trying to do is get him to pull inside his bunker. Now, if you have good tactics, if you work together as a team, if you can use teamwork to say, hey buddy, I'm pinned in here, you've probably got a shot on him, can you take him out? You can use your teammates to take out guys who have you pinned in, and you'll never need to use snap shooting. It's actually pretty good because, trust me, after long periods of having to do this, eventually your neck kind of gets a little tired. But, let's face it, sometimes you are going to get stuck in that position when you yell, Hey buddy, you have a shot on him, can you take him out? And your teammate's going to say, Well, I don't know where he is. Then, in those situations with your useless teammate, you're going to go ahead and have to at least try something to get that guy back in his position so that you can take him out without having yourself pinned down. Snap shooting may not look the best, and frankly, I might scare some airsofters out there. It's a paintball tactic, but hey, it works. And frankly, it's a lot better than doing that cheesy, cheapo crack shooting through a crack, just being a total jerk shooting through there instead of actually presenting yourself as a target, even if it is for a split second before pulling back in. So really guys, it's been a quick tips video by Angus AK Deathcore Airsoft. This is a skill that's worked for me several times. Snap shooting may not look that great, frankly it may look downright stupid, but it does work. Eventually, after you've put a couple BBs downrange near his position, chances are your opponent will pull in and then you can assume the position where you're dominant over him. So with that being said guys, just a quick little video. Try snap shooting, maybe you might like it. 